Hello again, welcome to my cruelty free channel. I know it's been a long time. So I'm doing a new smoky eye look for you guys. I know my other one was very popular. So this one is a little bit different. I have the fake eyelashes going on, a little more dramatic. Uh, I hope you like it. I had a really good time doing it. So let's go ahead and start. Great, so I'm gonna start by putting my hair up on a ponytail and I have moisturized my face uh, with the anti-aging serum from Anne Marie Skincare and the anti-aging facial oil also from Anne Marie Skincare. Um, okay, and I will go ahead and start putting on my foundation. I'm going to use Echo Bella and this is, you know, I don't know what color this is, but I will put it down on the comments. Oops, a little bit too much on my finger. All right. I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. going to use a kabuki brush to blend it. This is a clean brush. Next I'm going to use another color uh, foundation also from uh, Echo Bella and I'm just going to touch up parts of my face that I want to be a little bit lighter. So I'm going to create a little light under my eyes. Top of my nails. This is a little highlighting that I'm doing right now. And I'm going to continue using the Kabuki brush, blend it in. You can also use a beauty blender, but for some reason I'm really liking the Kabuki brush lately. So I have a little bit of a lighter color in the center of my face. the middle of my face and that looks really nice so now I will um, use from Echo Bella I'm going to use a, a dark blush to um, kind of do a little bit of a shadow over here just a little bit of contouring and it's very pigmented so I'm gonna use very little I do have cheekbones that do stand out already, so I don't really need to do a lot of it. And I'll go over here on the temple, on the top of the forehead. I can always go a little bit here. That's it. And then I'm gonna use um, a blush from Cosmic Tree Essentials. I have these three. And they're such pretty colors. I'm just gonna mix all three of them. And then I'm just gonna right on top, right on the cheekbone. Nice. I usually like to do a little bit, I just squeeze the brush a little bit and I go right over here uh, on my eyes. See how that makes everything a little more warm. I'm gonna go here with the leftover product. And then go over a little more. Da, da, da. Nice. And I 
my skin. Um, I did not use any powder today. Sometimes I try to stay away from the powder so my uh, wrinkles don't show up as much. So today I'm not going to use any powder on my face, but I will put a little powder on my neck just to, um, what's that noise, must be Jasper the cat, just to um, blend in with the color of my face so it doesn't um, look too white. Because this powder is actually is actually a foundation. It's a powdered foundation uh, by Cosmic Tree Essentials. And that way you don't look too white over here. Alright, now moving on to my smoky eyes. I will be using a palette from Urban Decay. The Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette and this was a gift from my friend Mirai. She's also my partner in crime and um, look how pretty this is and I was really happy to find out that this is cruelty free. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to use it. So uh, the colors I'm going to use are going to be the gray tones and the purple so I'm going to stay right here. Try to make like a fun, smoky, purplish eye. Okay, let's start with my crease. I'm going to use the purple on the crease. Ooh, that's dark. But it's a smoky eye, so... It will all work out in the end. So I'm going over on the crease and a little bit above. Okay, now I'm going to use a blush color, another blush color to blend it. Um, let's see, I don't know, actually I'm going to use a purple from Cosmic Tree Essentials. I will give you the names when I'm done with this doll. Let's use this. Um, so this is a lighter, brighter purple color. We'll use it as a transition color slash blending color. It's hard to blend um, pigments when you have wrinkles. You have to be um, very persistent. Got to go over it and over it. I know it looks really funny right now. I promise it's gonna be good. Well, you've seen it, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is enough blending. I'm gonna use another clean brush to just kind of make sure I don't have any leftover shadow right there. Just cleaning it up a little bit. And Here. Okay, good. And I'm going to um, go under the eyes with the same purple. That's the dark purple. So I'm going to start on the corners here. So just the corner with the dark purple and I'm going to use the lighter purple to 
towards the middle of the eye. Okay, now that this purple is blended pretty well, we're going to go in with my really dark colors. Um, so I'm going to use the black and go all over my lid. Let's see what that's going to look like. I'm going to have a little fun. Some people like to um, use a, a pencil, a creamy pencil, so the color is even darker. But with the naked smoky, I don't think it's necessary. This is this black is black enough. Too bad I have nowhere to go after this, because you can't just go do the laundry in this makeup. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to go here in the corner. And with this brush, I'm going to just kind of clean it up a little bit. So now I'm going to put on some black eyeliner uh, on the top and this one is um, the color is hmm, how do you do this? velvet and it's from Echo Bella right, so lift my eyebrow and line my eyes So now I'm going on the corners here. And I'm going to go on the inside. My eyes are pretty small, so this actually does make your eye look a little bit smaller. But if you're doing a smoky eye, this is the uh, traditional dark smoky eye look, so you might want to go ahead and do this. So after that, I'm going to do my eyebrows, because I'm going to come back to the eyes later. Just grabbing, um, there's a nice brown color over here, and I'm going to use that one for my eyebrows. Just gonna fill them in. We will brush it up. It's pretty dramatic. And 
now I'm gonna go for the lips. I'm going to use uh, a lip liner by Beauty Without Cruelty and it's called Pinky Rose. No, I lie. <laughs> I can't see. It is called Pinky Brown. And I love all my cruelty free makeup. This video, I'm using all the different brands that I use on my cruelty free kit. Usually, you do a light nude lip with a smoky eye, but this is going to be dramatic look and now I'm going to use my cosmic tree essentials lip gloss and this is Vanilla Rose. I love this color and I love the way it smells. Mm. So pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to Put on some falsies before I retouch anything that needs a little more attention or extra um, pop. Just going here under the, here just to kind of make it very smoky in there. So I'm gonna go in the bathroom because I cannot do this on camera. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so now I have my false lashes on. This really helps to give it a nice finishing look to the uh, smoky eye look. And now I'm ready for my last finishing touches. This is a highlighter from Cosmic Tree Essentials. It's actually a, um, it's actually a, an eyeshadow, but we are gonna use it as a highlighter, I'm going to do a little bit over here. I grab the brush that's a little too thick. But I'll just kind of squeeze it and highlight this part right here. And then just blend it. And use a tiny little bit over here. And then I'm going to blend it with my blush brush Do we need a little more so I've got it here and I have it a little bit here some people like to put it on their noses and keep it bow I think I'm not gonna do that all right, I think I really like this look. So this is the finished look. This is a very uh, sexy smoky eye look, very um, dramatic. And it would be a great look if you're going out on the town to a gala or a party or even Valentine's Day. Um, but you have to get really dressed up for this look, I think. I really like it. I love having the false eyelashes on. It really makes the look. So if you like this, please subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, and I will see you on the next video. All right, bye now.